Hello, we're here today to talk about the 5020 series Flowmore injection pump. Um, you've obviously bought a Flowmore product and we thank you for your business. Um, you can see we have a QR code down here. You'll find the QR code on the pump and also on the box to view this installation and operations video. Thank you again for purchasing Flowmore products. So we're going to uh, get started and talk about the 5020 series. The model number on this pump is a 5025, which is a three quarter inch uh, fluid end. And we'll talk about a little bit more about what the fluid end is trimmed with later. So we're gonna get started. Once you take the pump out of the box, uh, there's a few items that are shipped uh, loose in the box and we're gonna go over those items now. You have um, an A131 safety relief valve. You have a A558 grease jack. Also, you have an A2599 air breather. Also, you have a low more pack and adjustment wrench, which we'll talk about a little later with the fluid in. So let's get uh, let's get started. I'm gonna remove all the, the 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 plugs that are protecting all the threads, and also the the protector on the threads for the relief valve. You also uh, want to take a minute to Teflon tape everything uh, good to help um, prevent leaks. So we're going to go ahead and get their safety relief valve installed. You get that nice and snug. Uh, take your air breather. Get that threaded in. And the grease jack, we're going to talk about a little later uh, when we get to adjusting the, the fluid end. So what we're going to talk about is the maximum supply pressure uh, to run the 5020 series is 50 PSI. This regulated engage assembly is actually part of the pump, and it regulates uh, supply to the pilot valve for a switching mechanism. So that's this valve is, uh, I mean, this regulator is preset at 12 PSI from the factory. It does not regulate the inlet supply pressure on the back side of this inlet valve or this control valve. So naturally, it might be a good idea to consider a lubricator, filter, and regulator system. It's not mandatory, but it's a good idea to clean your gas up and also lubricate your gas. And you also have a regulator to regulate it down in case you got better than 50 PSI coming to the pump. So if you have more than 50 pounds of supply, this relief valve is set at 50 to protect the diaphragm and the housing. So 50 PSI is the maximum inlet supply pressure uh, to run this pump. So once you determine all that, your inlet supply pressure is all good to go, uh, remove the main cover from the power side. And we're going to talk about the oil that we use uh, for the 5020 series. We're going to zoom in where you can take a closer look at this. After you remove the cover, you want to fill this power chamber with about three quarts of lightweight, non-detergent, preferably 10 weight is what we recommend. 10 weight, non-detergent. Some people use Marvel mystery fluid or transmission fluid which is also good, but I recommend just a lightweight, non-detergent oil right here. Um, also, we're gonna talk about if you have a one inch, I mean an inch and a quarter fluid in, you can plug this drain uh, vent here and also fill this chamber with oil just where it's touching the plunger because on the inch and a quarter fluid in, you don't have a grease jack option and it helps lubricate uh, the packing. So, um, Let's, we'll move on to the fluid end. One of the first things you want to consider when, you, when you're dealing with the fluid end is also think about uh, putting a line check in your discharge line in between the pump's discharge and your injection point. And you also at this time need to consider what the pressures are uh, to determine the pressure of the, of the line check that you need to um, install. Here I have a quarter inch, 6,000 pound line check. We also have a 10,000, we have a 15,000 available. 
But at this time, it's a good idea to think about installing your lawn check uh, in the discharge side of the lawn. Um, you also want to consider possible uh, Y strainer coming in, uh, from the tank in the suction line to prevent trash from getting up inside the fluid end. Um, this is time to install your grease jack, which this is an eighth inch thread. We recommend putting a little Teflon tape on here and you install it into this port on the fluid end side. Also uh, available uh, is a couple of um, lube sticks that you put in your grease jack to make sure you got lube for your packing. All right. Once you do get all that uh, hooked up and ready to go, you want to open your bleeder valve and sl slowly turn on your pump. Get your fluid into the inside of the head and make sure your bleeder valve is open to bleed out all the air and until you get full flow. Once you get full flow, you close your bleeder valve, you should see fluid start to go down in your sight gauge. Once that's determined to set your rate, you have two ways to set your rate. It, you can set your rate by the speed, by this control valve, and also by the stroke length. So it's all, always a good idea if you try to get a, a, a low rate to run the pump a little faster on a, the short stroke as opposed to running it slow on a long stroke. So, but you have two ways to uh, adjust your rate by the speed of the pump and also by the stroke length of the plunger. You also at this time want to consider and know that if continuous operation, the maximum strokes per minute on a 5020 series is 60. If you run an intermittent for like testing of some kind and you need a high rate fast, you can, you can run it up to 75 strokes per minute. But under continuous conditions, 60 strokes per minute is the maximum you can uh, run a 5020 series. So once you uh, get the pump start running and you have bled the air out, you're going to let your pack in, uh, get wet for a lack of terms and set in for maybe 15 minutes. Once, you, once that happens, you can shut the pump down because you're going to get some slight uh, weepage. You want to open your priming valve again with the pump shut down. It bleeds the pressure inside the head. You never want to adjust packing against pressure because uh, you're, you're pushing from both sides. You, you know, have a, a force coming from both ends. So it's always a good idea to bleed the pressure from the fluid end when making the adjustment. I'd like to zoom in a little closer where we can show you uh, what we're talking about. Okay, with your bleeder valve open, you want to go ahead and, and just snug it down as you can see we're doing here. All right, once that is done, you want to get your pump cranked up again, make sure all the air is out, and close your bleeder valve. And it's, it's a good idea to let it run 15, 20 minutes. If you got the time to do that, you're going to probably increase your pack in life tremendously. So thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope it was informative. Uh, also, uh, look out for our YouTube channel and to see more of these installation operation videos. Thank you again for buying Flow More products.